What's up people of the internet? It's Paris here with yet another video. In this video I'll be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Batria family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 792 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture. I'm using the latest drivers for it available. I also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a slow hard drive for the operating system in also which game is installed. As for operating system, I'm using Windows. Windows Excite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. All the specs are in the video description. We are certainly going to a Celeronic Hill with this one. The game that I will be benchmarking today is Green Hill. Shout out to the demon who requested it. I'm also gonna run the memory talked up before watching the game and I've set it to clean the RAM once usage reaches 90%. And let's get straight to hell now! Tie down the bow. Jake, um, I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Well, I'm certainly not glad. I feel ya. The place is beautiful. Still. Still. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Devilhawka village. See you guys? Even the main character feels my pain. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you.
So yeah, that is how Hero looks and feels like on the Intel Celeron N2840. Now, this game does have a config. It's located in the registry editor which you can open by tapping wedge edit as I'm doing it in the start menu search bar. Then go to HK current user, software, creepy jar, green hell. However, there is one big problem. You can't trick anything here. There are these screen manager resolution width and height values which control the resolution, however, even if you try to load them to play at a potato resolution, the game reverts its resolution back to 800 by 600. So, if we can't load the resolution from the config, then we all know, there's another way. the tent. Is everything all right? The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. Looks like everything's ready. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. everything. We're officially settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should, maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. left. 